young lady by name Inyobong Umore has been raped and killed by a fake employer while seeking employment. The sad incident recently took place in Akwaibon State. Confirming the incident in a statement on Sunday, May 2nd, 2021, the police spokesman in the state, Odiko McDon, noted that one Udwa Frank Akban has been arrested by operatives of the state police command in connection with the heinous crime. He stated that the 20-year-old suspect was apprehended for kidnapping, raping and murdering Miss Omori. McDon, a superintendent of police, explained that the command received the report on the disappearance of the victim three days after the tweet was posted. He added that operatives of the anti-kidnapping squad of the command later arrested the perpetrator following available leaks. According to the police public relations officer in the state, the team led by a chief superintendent of police, Inengie Igosi, consolidated on the initial progress made by the divisional police officer in Oran, Samuel Ezugu. He noted Akpan confessed to have lured Omorin to his house in the guise of giving her a job, but ended up sexually and physically assaulting her, which led to her death. To cover his tracks, he dragged and buried her in a shallow grave in his father's compound, said McDonald, who explained that the body of the victim has been exhumed and deposited at the University of Uyo Teaching Hospital, UUTH, for autopsy. The command spokesman added, the suspect confessed to have told his local government chairman of his atrocity before escaping to Calabar in Cross River and was never at any time handed over to the police by anyone. The suspect is a confessed serial rapist who has owned up to the raping of other victims. He will be charged to court at the conclusion of the investigation. In his reaction, the Commissioner of Police in Akwaibom, Amiengene Andrew, appealed to the youths and job seekers to be wary of the activities of scammers and other men of the underworld. He commended the efforts of the social media users and other fighters of injustice as well as condoled with the family and friends of late Umoren. On Tuesday last week, late Umoren shared a post on Twitter in which she said she needed a job to keep her mind and soul together. From Lagos, this is Tina Timothy, News Express Nigeria Television.